Hey guys, it's Elena. Welcome back to Elena and Geo. Today we'll be making two really simple ways of pizza. One will be on a traditional pizza base and the other would be on bread. So if you don't have a traditional pizza base at home, you can always use a bread recipe. It tastes amazing and everyone would love it. But without further ado, let's get on to the recipe. First ingredient we have is a pizza base. I've already put this on a baking paper so it's easier to transfer. We have some tomato sauce here. You can always change your sauce according to the type of pizza you want to make. Um, we decided to stick to the original tomato sauce. Add a few dollops of your sauce to the middle of the pizza base, spreading it evenly to the sides. Make sure you leave a bit of pizza base on the side to form a crust. Now we get to add cheese. Um, we're using mozzarella shredded cheese over here, shredded mozzarella cheese. Um, again, you can change the type of cheese you want according to your preference. Next step is to add your choice of meat. Here we're using this marinated and grilled chicken. Um, you can add different types of meat, such as bacon or pepperoni, or you can completely cut the step. Now we're going to add just a little bit of onion for that little bit of crunch. This is when you get to decorate your pizza. You get to add different colors of vegetables or just anything you have at home. Um, we had some capsicums or bell peppers at home. So we decided to add red and green of them. We also found some pineapple and not everyone likes pineapple on pizza, but yeah, we decided to add pineapple. Now at this point you can add some oregano into your pizza to get an Italian taste, but we decided to stick to chili flakes. And that wasn't spicy enough, so we went ahead and added spicy barbecue sauce. Finally, we're adding just a little bit of cheese to combine all the ingredients together when it bakes. Now we can bake this in a preheated oven of 180 degrees. Um, if you don't want your pizza to burn, just in case, you can lower the temperature to 150 degrees when cooking. Make sure the cheese is melted when taking it out and that's how you know whether or not your pizza is cooked. So we're going to repeat the same step onto two bread pizzas. This is really simple and really easy. I think this is easier than the normal pizzas. So we're going to start off with tomato sauce, cheese, add our chicken, onion, bell peppers, and pineapple. Then we'll add our chili flakes and cheese. Here are the pizzas in the oven. 
So the best time to take the pizza out is when the cheese is melted and you have to check if the crust is baked as well just in case because sometimes the crust takes longer to bake. And here are the final results. We took our pizza out first, so this is what the pizza looks like, and this is what the bread pizza looks like. They look very beautiful in colour, and trust me, they taste amazing as well. If you really like this recipe, please subscribe to our channel, hit the like button, and stay tuned for more recipes like this. We really enjoy making them.